In Wyoming, the polls closed just three hours ago, but already some campaigns are refocusing their attention on November. The voting today decides who will advance to face off for Wyoming's governor, U.S. House and U.S. Senate race this fall. Let's take a look at the latest results in the Republican primary for governor. Current Wyoming Treasurer Mark Gordon is in the lead at this hour. Businessman Foster Freeze, who spent two and a half million dollars of his own money, running a second place, 26 percent of the vote. But he's trailing by some 6,000 votes. And trial attorney Harriet Hageman is running in third. Now, the other three GOP candidates, Sam Galliotis, Taylor Haynes, and Bill Dolan, all divvying up the remaining votes. We can tell you just moments ago, the Associated Press, the New York Times, and Politico, Washington, D.C. online newspaper, now projecting Mark Gordon to be the winner in Wyoming's six-way governor's race. But we can tell you the vote continues uh, to be counted at this hour. Current Democratic state legislator Mary Throne projected to be the winner in the Democratic governor's race in Wyoming. She'll advance to the general election in November. She leads with 74% of the votes over the other three candidates. Already tonight, incumbent U.S. Senator John Barrasso has been projected the winner in his primary race. He's garnering 65% of the vote in Wyoming. He did face opposition from five other candidates. One, though, dropped out within the last 24 hours. Barrasso's top challenger, Dave Dodson, wound up with 29% of the vote. So Barrasso will face Democrat Gary Trotter in November. Trotter was unopposed in the Democratic primary. And in the U.S. House race in Wyoming, incumbent Republican Liz Cheney, daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney, will now advance in November. She talked up an easy win tonight against two challengers, getting 68% of the vote. Cheney will take on the winner of the Democratic U.S. House primary between Greg Hunter and Travis Helm. At this hour, it's Hunter leading with 60% of the vote over Helm. You can follow these results right now online for you at ktvq.com.